In quantum physics, we have a problem. It's called the measurement problem. Put very simply, the more accurately we know the position of a quantum particle, the less certain we are of its momentum. And if we know its momentum very accurately, then we can't be quite sure of its position. Only a hidden variable could explain this problem. But people say this is impossible because such a ver hidden variable would have to affect all the matter of the universe from its creation to the present day. But there is one variable that has done just that, and that is the variable of time itself. We know time is a variable because we have time dilation when objects accelerate towards the speed of light, and we also have time dilation around objects of great mass. Time moves at the speed of light, and energy and mass slow it down to form their own space-time geometry. The greater the mass or energy of an object, the slower time will run for that object. Time is continuously formed by the emission and absorption of light or electromagnetic radiation from one atom to another forming the broken symmetry and geometry of space-time. The atoms bond together and then create their own space-time geometry and symmetry in unison. Therefore the observer will collapse a wave function creating his or her own independent reality of space and time. This is very difficult to visualize, but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the wave-particle duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function, creating her own future in the fabric of space-time. Therefore we always know the position and momentum of a quantum particle in the past, and the measurement problem is the same problem that we have predicting any future event. In this theory, at the quantum level of the atoms, the moment of now is created by a single photon-electron coupling, creating a wave function of future possibilities. Even the individual atoms of the observer are radiating electromagnetic radiation continuously. The observer will fill this as the continuous flow of time and as the aging process. On the level of everyday objects, the observer will see an infinite number of photon-electron couplings, creating a temporary image moment by moment, or photon by photon. 